marry a lot of women. It's allowed to marry a lot of women because they believe that having children, that's being rich. So, most of the women in my village have a lot of women. So how is the marriage arranged? Usually when the kids grow up, if you have children, what they count as children is boys, because boys will marry and stay in the village. And girls will be married and go to an, another village and make that village be bigger. So <laughs> when they count children in my child, they only count boys. So how do they get the marriage? <laughs> the marriage is arranged sometimes, most of the time. The parents will see a girl in another family where they will come, usually mom plays a big role in the choice of the wife. And she will come and tell his husband that I saw a girl in that family. How do they make that choice? They make a choice, they usually look at the legs. <laughs> if you have big legs, you have a, your daughters have a chance of being chosen first. <laughs> Why? Because they do believe we carry babies on the back. They believe that if you have big legs, you are going to be stronger to carry your baby on the back. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> because in the villages, women farm and we go and get, get water like in two miles and bring it home. If you have big legs, they do believe that like, you can carry more weight on your So the mama will choose the woman for his son, and he will come and tell his husband that he saw a girl in one family. And then they will, say, they will start asking questions like, where the parents come from? What is the grandparents' name? When do they come in the village? Or, usually they can marry another village that is near. So all those questions will be asked. And there is a thing in my tribe that is called Bilongo. It's the name, every family has that name. It's like, my Bilongo is we don't eat lions. They call it Muzilange, you don't eat lions. They give those names up. It's birds' names, animals' names, fish names. So if they find a girl, they have to make sure if that family is not coming from the same grandparents, grand-grandparents. Because those names are given according to your grandpa name. So it goes through like that. If the girl is not the same from the same, uh, like she's not, they don't eat like lion, like my family. They have to make sure to ask if the grandparents were related. That's how we know if they were related or they were not related. So if they were not related, they would ask the, the board to go and see, said we saw a girl such village, such place. And the boy will go there and try to drive his bike or walk, usually, <laughs> to see the girl. And if he sees the girl, usually they wait when the girl goes to the river to get water. And they can hide in the bush and looking on the <laughs> And then it is see one. They are in the bush and girls cannot even know that there are boys hiding to look at them. So <laughs> if the girl the, the boy sees the girl, then they have to make an arrangement. You don't go straight to the girl. You go to a neighbor and say, Can you call that girl for me to talk with I want to talk to her because I'm interested to marry her. And then the girl, the, the neighbor might arrange that and say, Oh, go somewhere else, or oh, this, but usually they do arrange that. And then the girl will come and talk with the boy, with the neighbor's uh, house. You need to try his best to convince the girl. <laughs> you need to talk to show how he farms. You need to talk if I have cattle, chickens. That's how we know if you are rich. We don't have cars and all these things that America have over here. If the girl, the man convince the girl, and the girl will say, say yes, and then the man will give her money. So the girl goes back to her family and say, Mom, I have, to t I have something to tell you. What, what, what is it? Then she will remove money and give to mom. As soon as I see money, even with my daughters, I already know there is someone trying to marry her. Then I will straight. This is the first question that comes when the money comes. What family is he from? And then the girls start explaining all these things, what the boys told him is from this village, blah, 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 his grandpa, 
Oh, yeah, everything. They don't eat this, they do they do that, they have kettles, they have chickens and all those things. <laughs> and then mom we take the money to that. What evening when they are, they, they want to sleep, they say your daughter have some as soon as he gets the money, he knows the daughter have someone. He's gonna ask who's this if you have a lot of daughters. And then you will say Beatrice, for example. And then you say, Where is the man from? All these questions and ask again. And then if dad keeps the money, dad will say, okay, I'll answer you later on. Maybe two days, three days. If dad doesn't give the money back to mom, say then dad is accepts the man to come in the family. Now the man, the man, they will be invited. The main family will be invited. The day that they will be invited, a lot of food will be cooked. Usually we cook a lot of rice, we kill chicken, goats and stuff. All the families of the men's side and the, uh, the girl's side will meet that day at the men's family, village. And then they will talk and discuss about money. Talk, first they talk about where did your grandparents, this is very important in my culture, to know where they come from, and what village, where do they, and all these questions. And if they finish that, then they, they ask the boy, why are we here? And they say, I'm here to marry Beatrice. And they, who's Beatrice? And then Beatrice will stand, and then they will ask uh, Beatrice, do you know this man? Yes, I know this man. Wine, palm wine will be there, that's what we drink. And then they will say, okay, be seated. Then they discuss about money. Usually, um, the men family have to pay gold uh, in the women family. But today, and nowadays, that is converting money. We still do that, but we pay it in money. So if they discuss about, um, the diary, is it English? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Discuss about the diary and then if they get an agreement, usually they, if the girl is beautiful, they raise it so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if she does have big legs, they raise it. <laughs> <laughs> because they know she will be working hard. She will work hard. So they discuss about that and then um, if the agreement is they find an agreement, the family will pay maybe part of the money, or not money, they pay the goats and chickens and stuff, and they say, we we'll bring you the rest of such day. As soon as they agree and they say, we will pay this, they will ask the girl to stand. They put the wine in one traditional, this thing here, this traditional thing here, and then, what, what is this? What is the name? In my language, we call it Lubaya. Lubaya. <laughs> yes. no, Chicken. I don't know the name in English because we don't have it in English. <laughs> it looks like a pork. It looks like a pork. It's, like a pork. Yeah, yes, it's a pork. Yeah, pork. Yeah, it's yeah. What is made you of? You can put milk in it. Too, you right? can put milk in it and you cut it in two parts. That's what is made of? It's made of something that is like a pumpkin. Coconut yeah. 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 Yes, it's like a yeah. pumpkin. Then they cut it in two and they dry it. That's what we use. Yeah, it's a squash yeah. family. It's yeah. Yeah. Squash. Yeah. Yes. So they put the wine, the palm wine in there, and they give it to the man, and the man give this to the wife, make a drink. As soon as she drinks it, that's the marriage. Yes. Yes. So, it's now up to the man. He can take his wife the same day. The marriage is already done that way. And then outside, when she drinks, women will be screaming, doing like, <laughs>